minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There's ignition. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with USS F-7 for the United States Space Force on a mission dedicated to America Strong. Good. Party 180 has gone to closed loop propellant utilization control. You are hearing the voice of Rob Kesselman providing launch vehicle ascent data. The pitch our roll program. Vehicle body range look good. Now, 35 seconds into flight. Atlas is now just under one mile in altitude. Traveling at 900 miles per hour. Engine pump speeds and injector pressures are in family for this thrust level. The vehicle has now completed the pitch yaw roll program. Now 70 seconds into flight. Atlas is now 4 miles in altitude, 0.4 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,200 miles per hour. Vehicle has passed Mach 1. Vehicle is now passing through maximum dynamic pressure, max Q. Party 180 is now throttling down slightly as commanded. Pump speed response looks good. Now 150 sec 115 seconds into flight, we're now 14 miles in altitude, 5.6 miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,000 miles per hour. Vehicle has now begun closed loop steering. The vehicle is now half the weight it was at liftoff, burning propellant at a rate of more than 2,600 pounds per second. Approximately two minutes remaining in the Atlas booster phase of flight. Since our reaction system is now pressurizing flight levels, Atlas is now throttling to maintain 2.5G acceleration limit. Now 180 seconds into flight, vehicle is 44 miles in altitude, 40 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. Approximately one minute to Biko. Standing by for payload bearing jettison. Good indication of payload bearing jettison. And Centaur forward load reactor has also jettisoned successfully. Atlas is now throttling up to a 4.6 G acceleration limit. Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence. Atlas is now at 4.6 Gs and maintaining that acceleration limit. 